this is a week long dyno competition. There's three to four dyno pulls a day for the first four days. This competition set up where it's almost, you've got playoffs. We've got, we had, it was scheduled to be, I believe, 16 competitors, but we ended up with about 13. We each made our individual dyno pulls. We each got our allotted time and get our score. Once they found out the scores, then they tabulate who's in first and second, and they go off to a championship runoff on the following Friday. Engine Masters and the Race Engine Challenge are always a true test of not only the instructors, but the students. It's one of the few events where we're gonna be here late working on. It's not something we can do a lot of work on during the day, so it's a lot of after hours. And definitely haven't had any weekends off in a, in a while. But uh, that's part of what comes with it. The fun is having to find all this extra power and try so many things. Because we knew we need, needed pistons first thing. So we started that process. Got our good friend uh, Steve Lowe at LSM Cams, to a cam that we had from last year. So we started our development on that, got it together, and then started realizing the cam just wasn't quite what we wanted. So through the course of the build, we've gone through two or three different variations of cams. Little changes, changing uh, intake center lines, lobe separations, and changing actual lift numbers, to all to keep us within the rules and to hopefully make a flatter curve and more power. So there was a lot of development in the cams changing. We just kind of had to make it fit the rules. We're finished ringing on it on the dyno down here. We've got just about all we can out of it trying everything. Now it's time to get it off the dyno, pack it up, head to North Carolina. My name is Jack Drewley. I'm a current student at Sam Tech and I was on the 2019 Race Engine Challenge team. Coming into the Race Engine Challenge, there were a lot of things that we had to do to prepare for it. It was all a learning curve for us to learn what that motor wanted, to learn what everything had to be like to follow regulation. Because at one point we had one cam that was gonna work, but it ended up not following regulation, so we had to switch to another cam, which was our final cam, and that ended up working. Getting to work on an SB2 has been an absolute dream for me. It's just something that not a lot of people get to see, much less work on, but SamTech has given me the opportunity to do both. Being able to be a part of something that, you know, came from NASCAR has been just amazing. Learning so much and meeting such great people, you know, there's just not an experience like it. Hi, my name is Trenton Hightower and I was on the 2019 SamTech Race Engine Challenge team. Uh, my job was to know anything about the heads since I was in head class at the time and then I was kind of uh, Aaron's right hand man trying to make sure that all the tools were packed up so we had any tool that we needed to take the intake off, if we had to readjust valves, do jet changes, air bleeds, just try to make sure we had all those tools before we left and then kind of help run the engine when it was on the dyno here at the school. I always dreamt on working on cars. I just didn't think they'd be to this level. Um, Samtech, I always figured that it would just be normal mechanic work. Samtech has opened a whole new world to me.
We're just buttoning up a few items preemptively. We don't run till tomorrow, but while we got some downtime, not making dino pulls or in one of the good seminars. So we are just kind of buttoning up a few things, getting as prepared as we can before we have to go into that dino cell. Oh, everything was good. It made 1.95 per inch. Um, that That's good. I didn't say great, but that's good. But uh, everything ran great. All the guys worked hard on it. You know, we had a lot of fun building it. And uh, the rods are still in the oil pan. <laughs> you know, that's always a good thing. So it, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. It's just, you know, it's just scored very well. Hello, my name is Darren Smithers. I'm an assistant instructor with EFI Calibration here at Samtech. I accompanied the crew to Race Engine Challenge in Charlotte, North Carolina. My primary responsibility was to create a timing table based on cylinder pressure. We kept tailoring until we had the best average power and what we were comfortable with uh, as far as heat. Uh, I was very fortunate to be a part of the, the crew that went to the REC and uh, very happy to be a part of the team here at Samtech. We did pretty good. We got into the competition early on Tuesday so we could get some insight on how it was going to be run and who was there and how things were going. So we got there early Tuesday, observed Tuesday and Wednesday. Our actual dyno session was 8 a.m. Thursday morning. We prepped the night before, uh, getting our plan together, getting it loaded on the dyno, and got everything together. Time came, got some good power numbers. We were quite happy with what we got. I believe we ended up the day with our score being a 1651 and a, and a little change. And the gentleman that came out on top scored a 1658 and a little bit of change. So pretty tight competition, even for the playoffs to get into the championship runoff. After finding out we made it into the runoff on Friday, Thursday night was a long night of scheming and coming up with a plan for the next morning. Yeah, we're here this morning. Uh, we made it to the to the finals with an, with an, another engine. What we're going to do now is do a little more tuning. This air is a little different than we had in Houston, obviously. Uh, it's better air, so we're going to put some more fuel to it and uh, try some timing. Uh, we need to pick up about eight average horsepower to 
be looking good, you know, in this thing. Uh, everything looks good so far. Uh, we're just going to take the, the, the MSD. What we're going to do with it is change the timing and put a curve in it. And we're going to try a little more down low and a little less up high. Uh, we, we, we're right now, we're favoring the other way. But just see what this air, and then we're going to, you know, uh, we'll do some jetting with the Braswell carburetor from there. And that's about what we have. Everything went pretty well, made some decent pulls, had a few problems with the carburetor not quite responding how we'd like, but if the brakes of the game when you're in a competition like this, you got to deal with the circumstances that come and make do with what you got. Uh, we ended up with a grand total score of 1636.4. Not a bad score, a little down from earlier in the week uh, due to the change in air in the attempt to try to make a little more power. You don't always go up, sometimes you go down. Uh, then the eventual winner, Eric, got his chance on the dyno, got equal time, made his pulls. When the dust all cleared, he ended up with a final score of 1641.2. Yeah, that's right. He only really beat us by about four points, maybe a little change. Very close competition, especially when that score is calculated over a whole RPM range. That's really a difference of three to four horsepower over that RPM range. So. Very good competition, very close competition, and contests like this help prove, prove the industry works and keep us moving forward. A lot of hard work went into those engines, a lot of very good engineering in those engines. So very happy to have done as well as we have and just to be a part of it and help support our industry. Visit samtech.edu.